Hey there, out of here. It's that time of year again. Summer is the season to stand out with a natural yet special look that's soft but also eye-catching. Here's my summer ball tutorial using some of my favorite Etude House products. Let's begin! Start out with a nice clean face. Exfoliate and moisturize as needed. We're going to be using Etude House's Goodbye Forever Pore Primer Essence to fill in unsightly pores and fine lines to give our face that smooth finish. This product also works to keep our skin's natural sebum production in the ropes on those hot summer days. Using Etude's Baby Shoe Base and Berry Shoe from their Sweet Recipe line, apply dollops of product on your face and blend thinly over the surface to create a smooth canvas for the rest of her makeup to stick to. This brightens the skin, even skin tone, and also smells deliciously sweet. Conceal any blemishes or residual redness with Etude's Surprise Essence Concealer. This is great for dark under eye circles and helps brighten discolored skin. Blend the product in lightly by patting. Build up coverage as needed. Use a nice cream textured blush like Etude's Cupcake All Over Color for a nice healthy glow. Using a brighter color like Peach Sugar Cake. Dab some product onto the apples of your cheek and blend upwards diagonally for a healthy, natural blush. To define the planes of your cheekbones, use a darker shade like Raspberry Musque to add subtle emphasis and contour to the cheeks. Keep the color thin on your skin and build as needed. We don't want to overpower our natural skin tone. It's best to apply cream blush before setting your makeup with powder to avoid taking. When you're done, you should have healthy, natural, glowing skin like this. Set your clean blush with a light colored powder blush for longer wear. I'm using the Lovely Cookie Blusher in number 10 Peach Parfait for a color that matches my skin tone. Set the rest of your face makeup with face powder to keep it in place all day. Etude House's Precious Mineral BB Compact Bright Fit gives you a nice smooth texture and also has SPF 30 PA++++. Now for the eyes. Define your eyebrows so that they frame the eyes nicely. Using Etude's Drawing Eyebrow Pencil in color that matches, define the edges of your natural brow and fill in gaps gently. Blend the product with a brush provided to get rid of harsh lines. Thick, natural looking brows with subtle arches are trendy these days in Korea and give the face a more youthful, healthy look. For more natural looking makeup, matte neutral eyeshadows like those from Etude House's Look At My Eyes Cafe line are perfect for defining the eyes. Use the lightest color in Honey Milk to define the brow bone. Neutralize any blueness on the lids with a light yellow tone brown like Vanilla Latte. Bring warmth to the eye by blending in a red tone brown like Cafe Latte into the outer half of the eye gently bringing it into the crease of your eye. Do this also for under the lash line for a balanced look. Finally, define and bring depth to the eye using a deep brown like Cafe Mocha on the outer V and along the top lash line. This elongates the eye and gives it a natural depth. Using Etude's Drawing Show Brush Liner in brown, shape your eyes by emphasizing the lash line. Use small, precise strokes for a cleaner and more defined line. I like the effect of large eyes, so I tend to wing my liner past my upper lash line for a doll-like look. This brush liner is perfect for tapered lines. Do the same for the other eyes. Now for the fun part. For the extra volume and doll-like look, I like using Etude's wide variety of false lashes. Cut your lashes to the right length and apply glue to the lash band. Carefully apply the lashes as close as you can to the lash line. Let the band extend past your natural lash line as needed for an enlarging effect. Don't forget to secure the ends! Use Etude's under lashes to match your new extended lash line to balance off your top lashes. These lashes have a clear band, and along with the transparent blue, make for natural looking underlashes. 
carefully adjust the lashes so they meet your natural lower lash line. Wait for the glue to dry and enjoy your cute dolly eyes. This next step is optional. I like defining my nose bridge with a highlighter and contouring powder for a sharper looking nose. It may not seem like much, this does wonders for my face shape and brings balance to the overall look of my face. Concentrate on the parts of your nose where the light hits for highlighting and the planes of your nose which cast shadows for contouring. Remember to blend any harsh lines and make sure not to go overboard. See how much of a difference that makes? We're almost done! Last but not least, bring some color to your lips with Etude House's Cupcake All Over Color as the base. Use Orange Shoe Cake to neutralize dark toned lips for a warmer, vibrant lip color. Blend in Strawberry Chiffon Cake onto the center of your lips for a plumper looking Give your lips a glossy finish and added color using pink tonic lip glass for sustained color and shiny finish. And we're done! Now we have a fresh dolly look with colors perfect for the summer. Wear this look with a girly baby doll sundress or a floral print blouse for a feminine looking touch. This look is all natural with added flair and works to enhance what you already naturally have. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial as much as I enjoyed filming it. Thanks for watching!